I'm going to show you a few simple steps on how to transform a piece of luggage to something that will stand out at the airport on the carousel and be easy to identify and find. So we're going to put our name going across here. We're going to spray paint it on. I've just printed this sheet out uh, with the letters that I'm going to transfer over to some freezer paper. That will be our next step. So the freezer paper that we have is just uh, Reynolds freezer paper, plastic coated. Um, that's what we use a lot for these projects. And then the freezer paper itself has a dull side and a shiny side, if you can see that. So you want the shiny side down. You're going to actually write on the dull side. Um, and then you can see that you'll just copy and transfer that over. And then we'll start cutting it out from there. Once you have it traced onto the freezer paper, the next step is to cut it out. And you can use scissors. I use a razor blade. Um, obviously, you need to be careful. Put something underneath it. And then just go through and trace them out. And then set your letters aside. We're going to use those in a minute on the luggage. So once you have the letters cut out, you've got a couple options at this point. So I'm going to choose to actually iron on um, the individual letters that I've cut out. Do it that way and whenever we iron those on we're going to do it the shiny side down because that's what will stick to the material. It will peel back off uh, once we're done spray painting but shiny side down. The other option that you can do is use what you've cut out. Lay that on there somehow however you want it. Iron that down and then you just obviously be spray painting in the letters. So that's, that's another option you can go with either way. So I'm going to use individual letters though and do it that way for me. These aren't the easiest thing to iron down on this material, um, like on a bag. Now if you're doing it on a shirt, um, the freezer paper works really well on that. Just do the best you can. And uh, so we've got it on there. We're going to move on to the next step of actually laying down some spray paint. All right, we're ready to spray. I'm going to just use some white, just some indoor, outdoor, interior, exterior spray paint. We'll just start applying light coats. Obviously you want to do this either outside or a well ventilated area. A little windy today. We'll just start with that. We'll just apply a few more coats and I kind of want a faded look there. And uh, I'll apply a little bit heavier here across the middle where the actual letters are. All right, we've got the spray paint down. I've let it dry for just a minute. And then the next thing is just to peel back. Just to peel back and you'll just do each letter that way. And So I wanted a little bit of a, obviously a spray painted messy look. So that's how you have it. I'll show you the end here in a second. So that's the finished product. It's easier to identify. I know it's my bag. It'll be easier to spot at the airport coming off the turnstile. That type of thing. So just let that finish drying and set up and should be good.